the dark night, a symbol of hope or a symbol of darkness. No matter what way you look at it, Bruce Wayne has protected his city from everything and anything. Whether that be aliens, superhumans, or even evil versions of himself. The Batman always seems to prevail. But how long can he keep this up? Happy birthday, Bruce! Bruce is surrounded by all of his loved ones on his 75th birthday. And he thanks them all for coming because it really means a lot to him. And as he's getting old, he can barely move, never mind blow out 75 candles by himself. Tim asks what he wished for, and he simply responds with more birthdays so I can keep an eye on everyone. Nightwing hurls a batarang at him to cut the cake, and he catches it with no issue. His body may look aged, but his reflexes are still unbelievably sharp. He cuts his cake as he tells Barb how proud her father would be of her. Gotham wouldn't feel right without a Gordon as commissioner. She's still fighting crime, just this time without a mask. And as they're about to toast to their would-be father, the bat signal appears in the sky. And Bruce shouts at his family like old times to get a move on. They all rush to their vehicles and zoom away. As Bruce watches on, making sure Alfred is asleep. Because there is no way in hell he's going to let him talk him out of it. The Caped Crusader is back, and for one night only. But this time, in agony. His muscles ripping, his tendons screaming, his bones feel like they're gonna snap. Why is he doing this? He's 75 with nothing left to prove to the world. Except he does have something to prove. To himself, that is. He flies through Gotham like old times. Helping people is his drug. He loves it so much. It pains him not to be in disguise. And later, back at home, Alfred notices his cane was broke. And has gotten him a new one because he really does need it. And not too long after that, the cavalry arrives back. And they come with news of record numbers of arrests made that night. All while they were on the other side of the city. Everyone screaming saying it was Batman. Which is impossible of course, right? And Bruce just says, I'm too old to be running around Gotham anymore. Especially in the dark. Well everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that little short story. I love little short stories like this that emphasise who Bruce really is or that he really is Batman. He lives for Gotham. Gotham is his safe place and he will die before he sees it unsafe. And as I said, saving people is his drug. Giving up that mask, well, you'll just have to kill him before he does. I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked the video, make sure to comment down below and let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.